Hi, it's Dior again today, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some more games on Semu 1.13.2, and this is the new release of uh, Semu. And today, we're going to be looking at it on Android, and we're going to be uh, playing that uh, using the Moonlight APK streaming from my HP One Gaming laptop to my Sony Xperia XZ smartphone using the iPad Guest Split Controller. So we're recording it on my phone using the DU recorder. So let's go into Moonlight. So this is the application you can just see in the bottom here. Um, this app allows you to stream over uh, Wi-Fi or 4G, uh, but I'm streaming it over 3G because I find it's just a little bit more stable because where I am, 4G is, is, is okay, but during the day it can slow down. So I'm gonna use 3G because it just seems to be a little bit more stable. So let's go into the Moonlight application. Go into my desktop. Some you know, I'm already playing uh, a game, and this is Super Smash Brothers. So, no, I I'm not very good at this. So, It's going to turn the volume up a little bit. Right, so where should we go? Let's go to the bridge of Odin. Right, I'm not very good at this, so I apologise. But I'm just going to show you exactly how good it is for streaming. There is a couple of glitching uh, because of the shader cache. Right, so there you go. So it just goes to show you the streaming is very good. I find over 3G, it's just a little bit more stable. You can adjust within the settings within Moonlight uh, the bit rate. Um, I believe the higher you set the bit rate, the better uh, the better graphics. The lower you set it, uh, you get better, less lagging, but the graphics are not so good. So, so it's options, it's totally up to you. So there you go, just so that you can uh, stream some new, and it's still just as good as ideal for chilling out and even if you don't fancy playing on the laptop. Um, so there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more videos, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.